Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily. This is Girl. Today we have a lovely slow flow for the new moon in Libra. The new moon is more for reflecting, turning inward. So that is why our flow is going to be much slower. And we will be talking about Libra's influence in this cycle as we get into it. So let's start the back of our mat in a child's pose, knees as far as part as you are comfortable. Walk the hands down as you melt your chest and forehead down to the mat. Let's just start with some breathing. So in through the nose, out the mouth, and around here, in through the nose, inside out the mouth. Let's take our left hand. Keep the lower body as it is, taking the left arm and threading it underneath the right, like a thread the needle variation. Just getting into our shoulders, changing the stretch on our lower body just a little bit. <laughs> so Libra's influence on this phase, take a big breath in. Inside out, just switch to the other side, taking the right arm underneath the left, threading it through. So as I was saying, Libra's influence on this new moon cycle calls for a need for balance in our lives. Big breath and breathe it into your upper body behind your heart's brace. And breathe out, come forward this time up on the knees. Take the knees back behind the hips about an inch or two. Walk the hands to the top of the mat. Melt the chest, forehead, maybe even the chin down, taking puppy pose. So kind of just like that child's pose, but with our hips up off of the heels now. Breathe into the heart space. So this may be a time where we are often, we may be choosing to Keep the peace rather than asking the fundamental questions that need to be asked. There's a need here to accept both the negative and positive emotions. Both being such intricate and fundamental parts of experiencing life. Breathe in as you send the hips back towards the heels and come up onto your tabletop. So this time hands beneath the shoulders, knees beneath the hips. Let's send the heels up towards our glutes and turn it over to the left side. So taking your left foot out kind of like a kickstand stretch, this right leg out long, open up to your supported side plank, looking up. Breathe in, reach arm bicep along the ear if you're ready you can pick this leg up this right leg up here is that my right leg yes it is you can bend through and try to see if you can catch a hold of the ankle or the foot kicking into that palm make sure your knee your heel your ankle all are in alignment with your hip so we're not reaching we're all creating one big line and as you kick through this foot feel like your shoulder is opening breathe in Breathe out, come out the way you came. So first, straighten out this leg. You can drop the heel back down. Let's use our obliques to lift back up. Lighting this right hand down the right leg, reaching the bicep, left bicep along the ear. Gate pose. Breathe in. Breathe out will flow from here. So drop this left hand back down. Right arm along the ear. And exhale, lift it back up to your gate pose. We'll do a couple rounds of this at your own pace, whether that be fast or slow. Finally, this is a period where we embrace who we are rather than who we are expected to be. So whatever that may mean to you. Let's come back down our support side plank back to our table we'll extend the right leg back this time 
try to keep your try to keep your uh, core engaged here, not dumping and <clears throat> not curling through the spine. If we're ready. We can reach the left bicep along the ear. Balancing table. A lot of balance work here. Kick up through this right leg, and if you can reach back, grab onto the foot, kind of like we just did before. Let's kick up into the left hand here for a tiger pose. One breath in, lift a little higher, breathe out, back to center. Let's curl the toes under and just pick up the knees, keeping the spine in one long line, our hovering table here, strong through the core, firing it up. Set the knees down, pick the feet up, and we'll take it to the other side. Right foot kicks out like a little kickstand. Left leg reaches out long, we'll reach the left fingertips up to the ceiling, look up. Supported side plank. Ready, you can stretch that bicep along the ear, reaching to the top of your space. And when you're ready, you can pick up this left, pick up this left leg, creating one long line. So bend through the knee, grab onto the ankle or the foot, and kick into this palm. A little back bend here in this bind. At any point you notice yourself going too far, just make your way out of the pose, stopping at the point you've reached your maximum potential. Let's release the bind, hold it up just a little bit longer for planting that foot down. And we'll use the obliques to come back up to our gate pose, right bicep along the ear. Look up, take a big breath in, and we'll flow from here, so back down. Your supported side plank, reach to the top of your space, and come back up to your gate pose. Moving at your own pace here, finding stretches along the lateral line of the body, connecting movement to breath. Next time you wake your way down to the support side plank, we'll stay back down there as we plant, plant both palms. Find extension through the left leg this time as you look forward. Only when you're ready can you reach the right bicep along the ear. Strong back here, adding on only as your body allows you to. You can bend through this left leg and start to reach back for the heel, kicking into this right palm. Looking forward, finding height with your knee. You fall out of it. Make your way back in. Push out of the shoulder so you're not dumping into your chest. Big breath in and out. Release. Plant both knees back down. Curl the toes under. Hover your table so pick the knees back up. Strong through the core here as you lift the hips up and back to our first downward facing dog. Paddle it out on the spot here. Slowly we'll step the right leg, right foot up in between the palms, drop the back knee down, and come up onto the fingertips to find your alignment. Finally, take your fingers, interlace, and push against your knee. Keeping the abdomen engaged, tailbone is down. Nice stretch into the hip flexor. Take this right hand back to meet the left leg. Stretch the left arm up and overhead. Exalting the shape from here. Changing the stretch a little bit. Breathe in, look up. And breathe out, plant the left palm next to the right foot and we'll open the right arm up into an easy twist. Looking up to the ceiling. You can look back behind you, and as the flexibility is there, we can kick up into this foot. Grabbing onto the left foot, the right hand, pulling the heel closer to the glute. Really nice quad stretch here. Breathe through it. And you can set the foot back down. Reach back all the way to the front. Push into the right heel. As you drag your hips back, 
the back of your space plant the hips down. You can either sit on your heel or you can have your heel next to your thigh, sort of like a half hero. And we're going to take a more lame, more passive variation on half split. So walk your body forward over this right leg as far down as gravity will allow. We're not pushing or pulling. We're leaning into this shape and accepting however far we get into it. Making peace with the place that we are. Taking comfort in the knowledge that we are exactly where we need to be. You can start to push into the palms, come back up through your lunge, and start to pivot to the left side of your mat. If you open up into a half squat or your skandasana, so you may need to come up here, and if this is what your shape looks like, that's all right. You can keep the hands on the ground for support. You can take them up to heart center in prayer. You can even plant this right hand down and open up through the left. Take a, you know, a bit of a twist. Breathe in. And breathe out. Find your way to the back of your space. So finding your skandasana on the other side now. Moving as slowly as you need to to make this shape possible for you. You can open up on this side if you did on the other as well. Breathing in. And breathing out. Come back forward. Twisting over to your lunge. We'll step the right knee back, meet the left, lower onto our forearms, onto our bellies. We'll take a sphinx pose, so keep the shoulders down away from the ears. Chin up, look up, trying not to crunch into the back of the head. Just taking a nice little heart opener here. Another breath or so, and we'll tuck the back toes under. We'll lower down, press the palms into the mat. First, come up onto the knees, and then send the hips up and back. Downward facing dog. We'll take a breath here. Now, side out the mouth. Step the left foot in between the palms. We'll go right into the second side. So get your bearings first with your fingertips on the mat. And keep the toes tucked under. You can keep them pointed. It's up to you. Interlace the hands a more unusual way. Push into this knee to get a lift up. Connect to the spine. Belly button hugs in. This is an active shape here. On your next in-breath, we'll take this left hand back to the right thigh. Right arm reaches up and overhead as we twist and look behind us. That's an exhaustion of our shape here. Breathe in, breathe out. Take this right hand down to the left foot, and then we'll open up on the left side. Easy twist. If you did so on the first side, we can reach back, grab onto. What is this? My left foot? No, it's my right foot. Haha. <laughs> Grab onto the left. Grab onto the right foot with the left hand. Keep breathing. Most important thing here. Drop the hips down. And release the bind. Take reaching forward now. Straighten through this left leg as we drag the hips back either on top of the heel or right next to it, whatever works for your body and your knee. For whatever reason, this shape is just too harsh on the knee, no matter what variation. You can always take the in foot to the inside of the thigh. Otherwise, from here, we'll just walk ourselves over this left leg. You may stay up, or you may be able to fold over. Everyone's is different.
on the deep breath. And on the out breath, we'll come forward through our lunge and then we'll pivot on to the right side, either needing to stay up here, if that's what our shape looks like today, or dropping down low into this half squat. Hands can support us. Hands can come up to the heart center, or if we did so before, we can open up, pinching up towards the ceiling, looking up if it's comfortable for the neck. Breathe in and breathe out. Find your skandasana to the back of your space here, moving fluidly, maybe not so gracefully, as long as you're trying. Open this up. Opening up through the chest, slight little twist as well. And then we'll come back up to the front of our space, moving through this lunge, stepping the knee back, left knee back to meet the right, lower back down, gear sphinx pose like we did before. Pushing into the elbows, making sure that we're not dropping in our chest here. A nice proud chest pushing out of our shoulders. Feel like you're drawing your hands back as you're pushing your chest forward. Breathing in. Breathing out. Tuck the back toes under as you lower hands above the rib cage. First up onto the knees. And then finally up and back. Your downward facing dog. One breath here, breathe in through the nose, and sigh out the mouth. Walk to about halfway up your mat, heels bit out, bit wider than your hips, heels in, toes out, sit all the way down to your malasana or yogi squat. Releasing into our hips, our lower back. This is fantastic for our overall mobility as well. When you're ready, you can drop your hips back behind you. Take the heels together in as close to the hips as you would like. You can hold onto the tops of your feet with your hands, kind of like you're flapping your little butterfly wings here. Move the knees up and down just to open up through those hip joints. Breathe in, find a long spine, and breathe out, round forward. So again, no pushing, no pulling. This is a slow, easy practice, easy being subjective. And we're just going to round our spine through here. Letting gravity pull us closer. Noticing that the more we breathe into the shape, the closer we are able to drop into it, the more accessible it becomes. And once you feel like you've lost connection to your breath, that's your indication that you've gone too far into a pose and you need to back out. Let's roll the spine back up and we'll take the knees in together. Take the feet out wide to the edges of your mat and drop the knees over to one side and then to the other, taking like a little windshield wiper motion, just to release through the hips. Find some internal rotation after external rotation. Two options to close. You can finish in a seated position with me. You can lay down Shavasana, whatever feels right to you. Both options are good. We'll close off in a quiet meditative state Drop into yourself. Turn the ego off to judgment. So don't hold on to every passing thought and identify with them. Allow them to pass by like they're clouds in the sky. Connecting to this sense of oneness that you have with the world around you. Ultimate presence as you feel the ground hold you, support you. As you sit here, I'm going to read through each, each and every sign. Yes. 
every sign here has a message for this moon, this new moon in Libra. And if you are not aware of your signs, I'll make sure that I include a source for you to plug in your information and find that out. But we're reading for both the sun and the moon placements. Most people are familiar with their sun placements, so I think the moon, but the moon is going to be very important to know here, so. So taking this in for both our sun and moon placements, continue to sit here, grounding in your sea bones beneath you. Aries, you will be experiencing clarity. And it's important to know that vulnerability here is an opportunity for you to grow. Taurus, there are some patterns that you're holding on to that no longer serve you. It's time to tune into your health and wellness, looking for a new routine that will benefit you going forward. So sorry to have forgotten about you, Gemini, but I'll take the time to speak on you now. There's an importance of indulgence here, so take time to play around and explore your hobbies. The balancing sign of Libra is helping you to respect the need for moderation. You do have potential to make beautiful things. Cancer here, we reconnect to our roots and our boundaries. And be sure that you are acting from a loving place. Leo, it's important that you communicate openly with honesty and tension. Release the past for a level-headed future. Virgo, this is a phase of deep introspection. It's time to reflect on of matters on the heart to be able to balance them with the sense of self. Libra, Libra, happy new moon, my dear. Here's your time to reflect and express gratitude for how far you've come. Scorpio, you will benefit from solitude here. That will be serving you. Do not neglect your spiritual growth and your intuition. This will allow for positive change and clarity. Sagittarius, unlike Scorpio, this is actually a time for community. Involve yourself and connect with those around you. Capricorn, it's important here that you balance your professional endeavors with your personal life, and there truly is an importance of rest here. Aquarius, it's time to pursue new opportunities to further your growth and healing. Consider different perspectives. And be accepting of your own mistakes and changes. Pisces, it's time to let go of the past, including false hope. While this may be painful, it'll allow you to move on to better things. Let's allow these messages to the self to sink in. To accept them without judgment, without fear, but love and awareness. Wherever you are, whether you're seated with me or lying on the ground, let's reach our arms up overhead. They touch together, we bring them down slowly, first pausing in between the eyebrows of the third eye, and then down in front of the heart space. Breathe in through the nose, and side out the mouth. Bowing forward, love and light me, sees an honor to love and light you, so that will say, Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me. Once again, I sure hope you enjoyed this Libra New Moon class. If you did, make sure you leave me a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below, and subscribe for more. Until then, thank you so much.